Ready? Ready. Game started at 0945 seconds Pacific. Welcome everyone to the first ever fully automated cybersecurity automated competition. Sandra managed to discover and prove a vulnerability in one of the services that we call OpSim, but this is a unique situation and it's something we were kind of hoping to see. They actually managed to discover an unintended vulnerability. So each of, these, uh, each of these services that's written, just like real world software, it's impossible for us to have made absolutely certain that the one vulnerability that we intended is the only one that's present. So the interesting part here is that Xandra had discovered this new POV, exercised it against something that we hadn't actually even intended, and then Jima observed this occurring and successfully defended against it. So these are all results that like, we hadn't possibly had any ability to predict whatsoever. Wow. So Xandra POV succeeded against the reference binary, but not against Jima's patched binary. So Jima was actually successfully able to patch a bug that we didn't even know existed in the software. But what kind of general purpose or even specific patches does Jima implement that could do this? So that was probably one of our uh, general purpose patches. We looked at areas of code where we know there are common vulnerabilities, and we just deliberately inserted conservatively the patches for those areas. The address resolution service was basically the vulnerability that was modeled after the SQL Slammer like we were talking about. And we definitely saw some of the bots discover this vulnerability and actually begin trying to prove that vulnerability against other teams or other bots very, very early on. So this represents a, a true success to, to what we have going on here because in that five minute window that Deb mentioned that she was hoping for, that actually managed to be proven and patched by several of the teams in the very next round. So that means that in a five minute window, a totally previously never seen before challenge binary was researched and evaluated and found vulnerable and patched by a completely autonomous system. Our implementation of the mail server challenge basically wanted to strike a balance between the difficulty and the complexity of the original bug in SendMail and Halvar's example that was sort of a carved down subset of the problem. Either way, they are all sort of the classic uh, state machine problems that are very, very difficult for program analysis. Those nearly infinite possibilities and that halting problem that we talked about before clearly come into play here. So, Mechafish was the only team to actually successfully POV against our version of Crackadder. So this basically represents a, a leap forward in program analysis for them to be capable of doing this means that we're one step closer to that thing that's basically been sort of the Everest of program analysis because of that state machine problem. Uh, congratulations, what do you think about this? <laughs> it's pretty overwhelming, right? wow. I mean, all the talk about state machines and all the possibility of state machines really reminds me of one of the papers that we published recently. We published the paper Driller, which is supposed to augment uh, fuzzing with symbolic execution. And it's one, one of our really in-depth case studies talks about how exactly it traverses the state machines and is able to really explore deeply parts of the program that would normally be inaccessible to a more naive approach. Thank you, AC. Today, we saw machines patch many of the vulnerabilities that were activated in their software within minutes without damaging software or availability. Challenges work not because of the many who cannot imagine, but because of the few willing to make the attempt. Thank you all for your courage. I'd like to close, but this room, the loudest round of applause we can summon for those who dared. <laughs>